last video, I was going through sighting in my bow and I had started at 10 yards and went to 20 yards. And what I realized over the last few days and kind of testing out everything is that if I kind of messed with the sight a little bit, the 10 and the 20 yards, I can actually use for one pin. And you know, it gets me in the right direction, which I was not aware of before, beginner. Okay, so what I have here is my top pin is now set at 10 and 20, should be. My second pin, the middle pin, is set at 30. And then I tested out 40 yards, but it was like, I was having to aim like way above the back. Like I couldn't get that one set it in. So um, the bottom one is set at 35. So I'm going to test these out, make sure that they are correct. And we will go from there. I did learn too from more research and you know, all the time I spent trying to sight these in that anytime you change anything on the bow, you're gonna have to re sight in the bow or make sure it's sighted in correctly, which is something I wasn't, I didn't know. Changing the draw weight or changing, you know, arrows or anything like that could affect the sights. So that's just something else to keep in mind. All right, so we are good at 10 yards. This is what we got. I have shot this bag up so much that <laughs> the arrow was loose. But anyway, looking pretty good at 10 yards. And we are right in the bottom of the circle. feel like I did okay at 30. Didn't move too much, so hopefully. Heck yeah! One of them's right outside, but I feel pretty confident that the sight is good at 30 yards. I do not feel good about that at all. I don't know if it was me or if it was the sight, but yeah. 
way high way high but it's consistently high so possibly the site okay so here's the deal the 10 looked good the 20 looked good which is basically the 10 and the 20 pin the 30 looked good but the 35 was a little high what that means when the the site the pin is a little or when you shoot high that means the pin has to come up if you were to shoot low, that means the pin has to come down. So essentially, right now, this pin down here is my 35 pin. Because I shot high, this pin needs to come up. So what you would do is kind of trial and error. There are these little hex doohickeys on the side. You would undo that, and then I'm gonna bring this one up a little bit, shoot it again at 35 yards, see where I'm at, am I still high? Maybe I need to come up higher. Honestly, because it's so close to the 30 yards at that point, I may be able to just use that one for 30 and 35 yards. I would have to just test it out just to make sure because they're that close. And then, you know, I could possibly try to sight it in at 40 yards. So trial and error again I'm a beginner so this doesn't you know come naturally to me I've had to do a lot of research on my own or ask people so you know just kind of testing it out as you may be doing as a beginner and that's what I'm gonna do so 10 and 20 30 and then this one is you know this one could possibly be used at 30 um, five yards as well I'll have to test it and then this one I can see honestly it's basically all the way to the bottom right now so I'll probably test it at 40 yards just to see where it's at and to see if I can use it for that but anyway that's where we're at